Indeed. All right. The future is bright for a pair of siblings uh, living in Folsom. Both have their very own Etsy shop. Uh, Lori Wallace is hanging out with his talented family. They're doing good, and we like to help uh, get yeah, the word out. About this it. is so much fun. It's so much fun meeting cool kids who do cool things. These are the doggy bandanas. What dog doesn't need one of these for <laughs> Easter? That's what I'm saying. So okay, cute. Ashley here, responsible for making these little things. Um, so I saw her picture on the Homeward Bound Rescue website. She had made a bunch for the dogs. There. How did this become a thing, Ashley? Um, so it all started in November of 2018. I wanted to. Uh, oh, come here, buddy. I want. He wanted. The dog's a little concerned about Scott. In case you were wondering. We're all concerned <laughs> yes. about Scott. Um, he has an he has an Instagram account, a little doggy Instagram of course he does. account, and a lot of <laughs> other accounts on Instagram have. They have these really cute bandanas. I'm like, man, I really want to make my dogs some cute bandanas. So I work with one of my mom's seamstress friends, and she helped me design, like, professionally design these bandanas so that way they could be reversible, so, like, double sided. So here are two sides to one bandana, and they slip on the collar, which would make it safe and more comfortable for the dog because it's not one more thing around their neck. Ashley, you're such a good dog mom. Yes, she Let's bring is. Superman back in so we can so we can put one of these on to show you how easy it is. Because I know you guys, some of you have pets at home. They don't really like wearing these things usually because they're kind of a nuisance around the neck. But this goes right on the collar. So we'll have Ashley put this on. You want to put the Easter one on? Okay. All right. So we'll put this one on. And we also have a training video that we're going to show in a minute too. We got to show this first. So let's show how this goes on. Um, because Ashley's a fantastic dog trainer. I'm going to hire her. <laughs> Thank you. Stay. <laughs> Just slip the collar right in there. Slip it right in there okay. and put it over some the buckle collar. Yep, the buckles. He's got some pretty big ones on this collar, so it just goes right over. And kind of, yep. Pull through. Easy. She's right. That's so that. smart because it's one less thing around the dog's neck. One less thing. Oh, and so now you have an Etsy shop and you have all different designs. You have people from all over the country buying these. Yes. Yes, I do. I do. And it's um, definitely very fun to, you know, interact with all these different people. So. And Ashley has it all down. Mom was telling me that she purchases all her own stuff with the profit mm -hmm. that she makes from the business. So this is yep. like your own personally run little shop. Super, super, supers. Oh. Come here. Super, and look at super, this. Super. And he loves it. Done and done. Ah, that's so great. Oh, <laughs> so cute. Oh, so okay, handsome. let's look at the training video real quick before we have to go because I love seeing that Ashley is so talented at training your dog. I need her help at my house, that's for sure. Um, so you actually asked uh, the folks at Homeward Bound what you could do to help, and you had all your birthday presents when you're donated, mm -hmm. ha had people donate to the rescue instead of sending you gifts. Yeah, I, uh, it, I think it was like my ninth birthday, and I... I asked for donations homeward bound instead of gifts because I felt like, I mean, they're a no-kill shelter, and I thought that that was just so cool. And so you've had a connection to homeward bound for a while, so when you brought these over to the rescue yeah. uh, to give to the adoptable dogs, how did that feel? It felt really, it felt really good to be able to see all the cute little dogs and know that they were going to get some more, um, that they were going to be provided for. So, yeah. And get some attention with those cute little bandanas. Okay, so your Etsy shop, we have the information up on the screen. You can find those bandanas there, plus a couple of other little things here uh, for dogs, too. Something for the, you know, pooper bags there that you can <laughs> hook on for your walks. So, uh, you have it all figured out. And this is nice. all from the 3D printer, which Logan is sitting over there. At. He has a whole nother shop with stuff that he does with a 3D printer. So we're going to check in with him in the 8 o'clock hour. Oh, perfect. You got to love an enterprising family. Yeah. <laughs> That's what mm -hmm. I'm talking about. Absolutely. Right? I need to hang around for a while. I can learn something. No kidding. <laughs> You're great. Hey, if you know somebody that's doing good, just like those kids, let us know. Good day at KMAX TV. Good day at KMAXTV.com. Subject line doing good. We'd like to share the story. News doesn't have to be all depressing. Right? Bad. Doing good.